Just visit the new CalgaryHerald.com with more of everything worth knowing. It's a concern to me that these accidents happen to begin with, you know, for ob obvious reasons. Um, and I think everybody would agree with that. The decision whether a file is prosecuted um, or not is made by the Department of Justice, uh, the Ministry of Justice. And um, the decision on those files is made the same way as it is on any charge that a police would have against an individual. Uh, Crown prosecutors um, who have significant experience in prosecuting uh, occupational health and safety files take a look at the file and, and they make uh, an educated determination on whether there is a possibility, a reasonable possibility of getting a conviction. Um, and, and they make that decision. One of the things that I'm focusing on um, is, uh, is enforcement. Um, we have done a phenomenal job, and, and, and I, I, I feel comfortable in, in using the word phenomenal job, in educating. And I think education has given us pretty good dividends when you look at, uh, at our injury rates, um, obviously weighed for the type of industry that we're in. Um, but I think we are almost at a point where we have maximized on education. I don't think we're going to see any sudden significant improvements in our track record just on education alone. So we will maintain education, just, you know, just not to fall behind. But I think the next step is stepping up enforcement. And, and that's something that I'm, that I'm very focused on. I already have uh, shift, uh, shifted uh, resources to hire more officers. And um, as a matter of fact, uh, I will be meeting with, with my assistant deputy minister to, to get that message across to the department. Uh, go out there, be reasonable, no witch hunts, but be, be reasonable. And if you think that, uh, that enforcement is required, if you think that our education has been falling on deaf ears, um, then do what you have to. When are we going to see action on that? That's something you talked about well, a couple months ago. You're seeing action already. I have already hired additional uh, uh, frontline officers who will be doing uh, this kind of work. Uh, they're in the process, I believe they're in the process of being hired right now and trained. Uh, so you will see more uh, enforcement on the roads and the job sites over there right now. And, um, and you're seeing a significant shift uh, with my mandate, uh, mandating the department to uh, uh, not become more heavy-handed, because that's not the approach, but, but uh, utilize all the resources that we have available to us with the current, with the existing legislation. Um, I think the legislation gives us enough tools, uh, but now what we have to do is, is shift a little bit from, uh, from educating to enforcement. Poor performers list, you talked about that a couple of months ago. How soon can we expect to hear something on that? I, I want to release a list where you as a reader can pick up that list, look up your, the name of your employer and say, am I working in a safe place of employment or am I actually going to apply for a job with this place? Or an employer can look up and say, how am I doing compared to other players in the same industry, in the same category. We're working on that list, we're generating it. Uh, this is no excuse, um, but this is the reason why, I'm, why I can't release the list right now. We have been generating that kind of data along with Workers' Compensation Board for the purpose of our internal usage. So we have all the information that you need to comprise this list, but we never actually put it into any data system where you can just press the print button and print the list because we never had the intention of releasing such lists. It was never topical, it was never requested uh, ministers prior. Your legislation in 2002 that that no. information could be released. It could be released. It could be released and that's why we're releasing it. But we never really generated such lists for, the, for public consumption. Now uh, I have mandated the department to tabulate that information into some kind of a readable for lack of a better word, uh, format, and the moment it is done, and they're working on it, trust me, <laughs> this is one of the things that they're working on really hard right now. Uh, the moment the list becomes available, um, I will be publishing it right away. What would you say to those families? You know what, I would say that if my family member died on a job, I would probably feel the same way. Um, you know, there is nothing that a minister can say to, to possibly uh, justify someone dying on the job, to, to bring some rationale or sense to it. 
but the fact is that um, when you're working with tools, when you're on the job, um, no matter what you're doing, uh, accidents will happen. Uh, we're in the business of trying to prevent as many of them from happening as, as humanly possible. Um, but it, it would be unsincere of me to say that um, I will bring in a system in place that will prevent all accidents from happening. It's just that's just not how life works. But the fact is that my mandate from our Premier is to do everything I can um, within the realm of law to prevent those accidents from happening and, and where they occur and where it can be established and proven that it occurred as a result of someone's negligence, uh, then we go after them hard. So that's why I will be picking up on the enforcement. Uh, I will be loosening up court time as much as possible. I will be assigning more uh, prosecutor uh, time to make sure that if there is any negligence that can be proven uh, beyond a reasonable doubt in a, in a court of law, uh, we will go after, them, after those individuals very hard. But